Prowa 50 kW to 80 kW series are 6 or 7 MPPT, 3-phase grid-tight solar inverters. This model supports USB Wi-Fi. Customers can easily configure the inverter on the app. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning and basic troubleshooting. Tools we need to prepare Electric driller, hammer, pliers, cross screwdriver, flash screwdriver, multimeter, etc. Unpacking and checking. Unpack the packing, take out the accessories and the inverter. According to the accessories listed on the manual, check whether there is any missing. Follow the installation manual to drill holes and hang inverter to the wall. Do not forget to screw the safety screws firmly. It is required to install the inverter under a shelter, avoiding direct sunlight and rain. Please choose eligible cables for wiring. On the user manual, there is a table of cable requirement. It has listed the specification of cables required. Check the PV array polarity with a multimeter. Then connect the PV array terminal to inverter PV input terminal. Please note the starter voltage for max 50 to 80 kW series inverters is 250 volts. Inverter will not work if the stream voltage is lower than 250 volts. For PV connector assembly, please refer to the SP2000 installation video. The AC connection is a screw connector with five pins. Line 1, Line 2, Line 3, Neutral and Protection Earth. Put the wire terminal to the lid. Use crimping pliers to tighten it. Put the cable to the AC protection cover and then screw the five standard wires into the relevant terminals. It is suggested to earth the inverter frame via the earthing pole located in bottom of the inverter. When the plant has then one max inverter connected to Shine Master, port default pin 2 and 3 of the first inverter, farthest from Shine Master RS485 to pin 3 or 4 in order to increase matching resistance for better communication. There is a USB A connector, USB B connector, and RS485 socket on the bottom of the inverter. We suggest the solar system be configured by USB Wi-Fi and monitored by Shine Master. Please note USB A port and USB B port cannot be used at the same time. Remove the USB A cover from inverter, then plug the USB Wi-Fi module into the USB A port. The monitoring system allows customers to check data on mobile, panel computer, laptop, or rather have internet access. Moreover, it is also able to adjust the inverter parameters and even upgrade inverter firmware remotely. Use a multimeter to check the PV input voltage and IC voltage on inverter terminal. Make sure they are correct, then switch on the inverter DC switch to start up commissioning. Max series inverter shows inverter working status, PV status, IC status, communication status, fault, warnings, and also approximate power with 8 LED bars in a ring. Get the basic inverter information at a glance, quick and easy. The inverter can be controlled by USB Wi-Fi. The default COM address is 1. Connect USB Wi-Fi module to change it when necessary. For other operations, please refer to the manual. Error means the inverter could be faulty or abnormal setting. Please contact professional engineer to fix it. The error code can be calculated with a lighting boss plus constant 99, for example. The picture shows lighting boss is 2 plus 99. The error code is 101. The most common warning message is fan fault. As a tear and wear part, fan cleaning and replacing may be required after long time operation. For outdoor installations, we suggest cleaning for fans semi-yearly. 
Switch off the inverter PV switch, AC switch. Unscrew the fan cover screws. Disconnect the fan cables. Take off fans. Use wet towel to clean it. Replace faulty or damaged fans. Inverter would indicate an error message or error code on LED display if there is a fault occurs. Please refer to user manual of complete error list and description. There is also a detailed troubleshooting guide available on GrowWatt website. In order to manage the grid stability, the grid company regulated a permitted grid connect voltage range. If the local grid voltage is beyond that range, the inverter must stop working. Usually, that is not an inverter problem. Please contact your installer to check AC voltage on inverter terminal or contact Growa service representative for further inquiry.